Hi, I am Ajit Virkud, Professor of Obstetrics and Gynecology from Mumbai. There is a dread disease in which life and death are so strongly blended that death takes the glow and hue of life and life the gaunt and grisly form of death. This is what Charles Dickens said about tuberculosis. Nobody could have described the deadly disease better than him. Friends, today I am going to discuss genital tuberculosis. The topic is so important and so huge that I have divided it into many parts. In this first part, I will talk about the epidemiology, bacteriology and pathogenesis of the infection. In the second part, I will discuss the clinical features and diagnosis of tuberculosis. In the concluding part, I will discuss the treatment and prognosis of pelvic tuberculosis. Remember, these videos are extremely content heavy and you may have to watch them repeatedly in order to understand the topic fully. The disease has been known since ancient times. Tuberculosis has been mentioned in the ancient Indian Vedas as Rakshasman, the demon king of diseases and how true it is even today. The first recorded case of genital tuberculosis was described by Morgagni in 1761 and the first tuberculous endometritis case was reported by Kivish in 1847. Now I will discuss the epidemiology of tuberculosis in general which has some alarming statistics according to WHO. Africa carries the most severe burden with 281 new cases per 100,000 population in 2014. India is not far behind with around 250 new cases per 100,000 population. The global average incidence of tuberculosis is 133 cases per 100,000 population. As per 2014 statistics, about 80% of these reported tuberculosis cases occurred in 22 third world countries. The six countries that stand out as having the largest number of incident cases in 214 were India, Indonesia, Nigeria, Pakistan, People's Republic of China and South Africa. In terms of sheer numbers, India can be regarded as tuberculosis capital of the world just as it is the diabetes capital of the world. This is the reason why WHO declared tuberculosis as a global emergency in 1993 and sadly it still continues to be so. Some of the sad truths about this pandemic are Globally, in 2014, there were over 2 billion people, that is one-third of the world population, harboring latent tuberculosis infection. More than 9 million new cases were reported, of which an estimated half a million people developed multi-drug resistant tuberculosis, and 2 million deaths are estimated to occur each year. So where do we stand today as far as the deadly disease is concerned? The Millennium Developmental Goal target of halting and reversing the tuberculosis epidemic by 2015 has been met partially. The incidence of tuberculosis has fallen by an average of 1.5% per year since the year 2000 and is now 18% lower than the level of 2000. The Tuberculosis death rate has dropped by 47% between 1990 and 2015. An estimated 43 million lives were saved through tuberculosis diagnosis and treatment between 2000 and 2014. So what is our new goal? Ending the tuberculosis epidemic by 2030 is among the health targets of the newly adopted Sustainable 
developmental goals by united nations in the next segment i will talk about the pathology of tuberculosis first i will discuss tuberculosis bacteriology tuberculosis disease is caused by an organism called as mycobacterium tuberculosis hominis in immunocompromised persons some other strains of mycobacteria can also cause the disease these are mycobacterium tansasi and mycobacterium avium intracellulare among others first i would like to talk about why this organism is called as mycobacterium tuberculosis myco means fungus and just as fungus grows slowly this bacteria is a slow growing organism hence it is called myco that is slow growing and bacteria that is bacterium secondly when it enters the lung it leads to the formation of a granuloma which is like a tubercle hence the name bacteria that causes tubercle that is tuberculosis characteristics of mycobacterium tuberculosis hominis organism are it is rod shaped slightly curved with rounded ends having a length of 1 to 4 microns and breadth of 0.3 to 0.6 microns it is non motile non capsulated obligate aerobe and it has a very slow replicating cycle of 17 to 24 hours the most characteristic feature of tuberculosis organism is its unique cell wall structure a protective shield over 60% of tuberculosis cell wall complex is made of lipid fraction which has three major components mycolic acid which are alpha branch lipids cord factor and wax d this lipid cell wall has many advantages such as resistance to destruction by acids and alkalis resistance to many antibiotics resistance to osmotic lysis via complement deposition resistance to lethal oxidations and thus survival inside of macrophages and impermeability to stains and dyes and this is the reason why it is called as an acid fast organism another unique property of mycobacterium tuberculosis organism is its ability to grow intracellularly this is an effective means of evading the immune system in particular antibodies and complement are ineffective once mycobacterium tuberculosis organism is phagocytosed it can inhibit phagosome lysosome fusion by secretion of a protein that modifies the phagosome membrane it may remain in the phagosome or escape the phagosome and in either case finding a protected environment for growth in the macrophage this is the end of part 1 of my series of lectures on genital tuberculosis in the second part i will talk about the pathogenesis of tuberculosis in general and genital tuberculosis in particular for further reading on this topic and other topics in obstetrics and gynecology refer to following books written by me practical obstetrics and gynecology modern obstetrics modern gynecology clinical cases in obstetrics questions and answers clinical cases in gynecology questions and answers and pelvic reconstructive surgery If you have found this video useful and informative please subscribe to my YouTube channel by clicking here